you guys welcome back to my channel so today that's today's video is going to be on books that i read in 2020 books that i enjoyed and i just want to share some that i reread and read this year and see you guys opinions on it as well but i just wanted to share that with you guys so i'm just going to go to my goodreads on my phone because i mostly read, mostly read off my phone so yeah let me just get to my Goodreads and we'll get right into it. Okay, so the first series that I want to mention is the Elite Kings Club series by Emma Jones. She is an amazing writer. If you've never read one of her, any of her books, amazing. I read a couple of books from her this year. I guess you've almost read all her books, but I read a couple of them. So her and the first few books are about Madison and Bishop. And it kind of just goes into like then the other couples in the in the story. And the what was it? The fourth and fifth are about me and Tilly, and their story is really amazing. But I think my favorite out of all of them so far have been Bishop and Madison's story. And I like how in like each story you're still figuring out what's going on in the other relationship. So when you get to meet and Tilly's, you he's so involved like. Madison and Bishop as well, so you still see like their journey throughout me and Tilly's story as well, if that makes sense. I'm just going to read the first book, like the book description for the first one, which is called The Silver Swan. Riddle me this, I am neither dead nor alive, and I am not something little Madison can hide, but you will be dead by the time this is done. The timer starts now, and the games have just begun. Madison Montgomery comes from money and power, but when someone close to her commits the ultimate crime, Madison must live with her tainted name for the rest of the for the rest of her life. When she begins Riverside Preparatory at Academy, the private school her father has swept her into in the Hamptons. She hopes for a fresh start. What she wasn't hoping for was a pack of bad boys who run the school, ten to be exact. When Madison gains the attention of their leader, Bishop Vincent Hayes, a whole new world that she didn't think existed is exposed to her. A whole world that starts and ends with the elite King's Club. And these boys are about to flip her world upside down. Secrets are overflowing and family lies are about to be exposed. Is this more to Madison Montgomery than even she knows? That book description just right there, I just get excited reading it. Just reading it, it makes me want to reread it all back over again. But that right there, just, I don't even know how I found this book. I think I was on on Apple Books looking for a book to read and she popped up. And as soon as I read that, I was like, ah, buying it right now. And I, that's exactly what I did. I bought them. <laughs> Amazing. If that does not draw you in and make you want to read it, what type of books do you like reading then? Because I'm confused. But yeah, no. Madison goes through so much, finds out so much about her that it blows your mind and i'm pretty sure the first and second book end like a cliffhanger where it makes you like what is going to happen next but it was a page turner like i read that i read that series in like maybe three four days at the max because at the time she i think she only had the first three books out and yeah freaking amazing just like me and tilly's story just as good as well like it's just crazy like her the way her mind works and the stories that she comes up with She's a genius. Like, hands down, I will read every single book she brings out because I just love the way that she writes. And her stories always take a crazy turn. They just like, what, when, why, where? That good. The next story mentioned by her as well that I really thought was just, huh, what? <laughs> like, how did she think of this? Um, Zico, I believe that's what it's called. I do want to say, like, there are some trigger warning than this so if she is sexually assaulted this book literally blew my mind by Emma Jones I was just like a whole other like, this is like dark 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 romance this right here just tells you where her mind goes and it's just amazing one of my favorite things to read is dark romance love it all anything just throw it at me and I will read it this one I'm just gonna read the book description <laughs> It says, he was my foster brother. He wore, he scored to protect me. He failed. They all failed. I'm an open box of, of past photographs. Snapped in a cheese daily, but filtered via. I'm the past that he tried to forget, and he was the future I needed. 
When he left six years ago, I screamed for him every night. But then it all stopped. My screams were suddenly muffled by cruelty and farther coaxed by the pain. But he has come back. He's not the cute big brother I had a future crush on. Or the bad boy, rich brat that I hated to love. He's a ruthless vice president, Wolf Pack MC, and he doesn't answer to voice King anymore. He answers to Sicko. This is crazy. He left because he needed to leave. He left basically to, he left thinking that he was saving her, but in reality, he left for nothing. So he made her angry and upset with him for nothing, and Jesus, voice King is a bad. But she's just as bad. Yeah, if you like dark romances, you're definitely gonna like that one. It's just everything is in that book. Like it's just crazy in the details and the like. I, I honestly sit back and think like, what? Like how do they come up with these ideas for these books? Because I could never. I love reading them, but I don't think I could ever come up with a book. Like that's a lot of work. And props to Emma Jones because she did that once again. Our story that I want to mention that I read this year. It's a trilogy. So far, there's only two books out. The third one should be coming out sometime next year. It's called Fuck You, Knox Academy, Term 1. This is on Kindle Unlimited, so if you have that, definitely read it. Um, I love reading books on there because they're authors that aren't really always known authors, so when I read their stuff, I'm just like, how come no one has read this? Like, what is going on? Why is this not mentioned? Like, what? The book description. Crazy as well. It says, when a stupid prank goes wrong, Amelia thinks she'll be getting a slap on the wrist at best, community service at worst. The last thing she expects is her absentee mother to swoon into the courtroom and whisk her off to an English reform school for the next three years. What's the only thing worse than being shipped off to the other side of the world, being sent there with her mother? However, when, she when she's introduced to the headmaster for son, Amelia thinks she may just have found the perfect way to get sent home again. Little does she know, greater forces are at work to keep her at Knox Academy for a reason. And as secrets and lies begin to unravel, Amelia has to decide if she wants to stay to uncover truth or run while she still has the chance. And it's a reverse harem book, which I literally started getting into that maybe like a year ago. And let me tell you, I'm never going back. Best book of all time. This one does say to be 18 and older. I don't have to say about it. So far, it's super good. As you can see, it kind of like the books where like a whole bunch of secrets are coming out and a lot of drama in it. Obviously, there's a lot of drama in this book. Um, and betrayal and she doesn't know really who to trust who not to trust obviously as you see in the description she's not a big fan of her mom mom it tends her mom was abusive to her it does go through it in the book so if you're not if you don't like really reading about that it doesn't really mention it a whole lot it does mention it here and there but if you don't like reading about that and it triggers you i wouldn't read this book as well it's probably my top one when i first read the first one the second one wasn't out yet and it said it was going to be like out like a whole year later like next year and i was like no, no, I can't wait that long. And she finally came out with it and I'm just like, the Lord. It was really good as well. The series was really good. I really like this series um, by Sheridan Ann. The Rejects Paradise series. And I'm just going to start off the first book as always. Called it Tough Shit. It has a lot of drama, a lot of back and forth. Like her falling for like the rich guy type of thing. But so much is uncovered. So this is like, there's gangs in this one and different things and she learned stuff about her father that she she looked up to her father thought her father was amazing he wasn't involved in gangs he didn't like gangs um but it flipped her world upside down and she ended up finding out that her father was involved in gangs and things like that and it just made her think really poorly of her dad and she didn't understand what was going on but the whole story starts with her like moving but basically her mom's gonna end up being a maid for this family so they end up moving from their shitty neighborhood to obviously the rich side of town which is like not even a town like across the city because it's like two hours away and uh, yeah so they start working there she starts finding out secrets uh, mansion that she was her security 
yeah, Charles Carrington and the Brimble Winter in an all boys school. So she's the only girl in an all boys school. And then on top of that, she had he has his he's not making his son bully her, but his son is bullying her and things like that as well. It's just a lot of drama that I personally like and I enjoy the stories. So I'm just gonna get into the book description and yeah, we'll go from there. Moving in with the billionaire Playboy is supposed to be some sort of Cinderella story, right? I'm supposed to be having the time of my life while living the dream. Wrong. When the bank took her home, it didn't come as a surprise. The bomb was when mom told me we were moving out of Breaker's Flats, away from my crew, into a place that only exists in fairy tales. Bellevue Springs, home of the insanely beautiful, rich, and famous. Only Bellevue Springs is far from a fairy tale. It's a nightmare full of secrets, horrors, and the ugly reality of the one preceptors. But without this move, mom and I are up shit creek without a paddle. We don't belong here, not even as help. I should have been prepared. I should have done my homework so that at least that way I wouldn't I wasn't blindsided by Charles Carrington's son, my new housemate. Colton fucking Carrington. He's the definition of an arrogant entitled prick. He's determined to make my life a living hell. Guess what, Colton? Where I'm from, you don't start a war unless you intend to finish it. And that's exactly what I plan to do. You can't take down a girl who has nothing left to lose. We may be on your territory, but this is my game. This is a dark high school bully romance series. Um, it does have, it says it features dark themes and mutual contact. Um, in the series, um, there is a rape that happens, so if that triggers you, do not read it. Yeah, that was a really good series for her. I think there's four books, and they are all out. I kept me flipping the pages as like a crazy person, well, you know, scrolling over on the pages like a crazy person, because once I get in a book, it's like I can't get out of it. Like, I, I need to finish it right then and there then. The one that I really enjoyed, Oh, Playing With Fire by um, LJ Sheen. I love her as an author as well. I read a couple of her books and I really enjoyed them. I know a lot of people, they always go back and forth with their works. A lot of people criticize her work and I know I love it. I'm all for her. The book that I'm going to be talking about is called Playing With Fire. It has 4.3 stars on Goodreads and I gave it a 4 star. I'm going to read the book description. It says a broken boy on a path to destruction, a scarred girl without direction. A love story carved in secrets, inked with pain and sealed with a lie. Grace Shaw and West St. Clair are arctic opposites. She is a strange girl from the food truck. He is a mysterious underground fighter who stormed into her sleepy Texan college town on his motorcycle one day. It has been wrecking havoc since. She is invincible to the world. He is the town's beloved bad boy. She is rejected. He is trouble. When Wes thrusts himself into Grace's quiet life, she scrambles to figure out if he is her happily ever after or tragic end. But the harder she pushes him away, the more he pulls her out of her shell. Grace doesn't know how, know much about anything beyond her town limits, but she does know this. She is falling in love with the hottest guy in Sheridan you. And when you play with fire, you ought to get burned. Such a cute romance story it made me I think I'm pretty sure I cried it when I read this obviously Grace Shaw beginning she's obviously has scars on her face she was in a really bad fire and her face was like burnt off like burnt on one side so she's dealing with that and people always obviously staring at her saying something about it and he comes in and swoops her right off her feet basically just I think it's just a really cute story. There is a lot that goes on in this book as well because he's dealing with his own issues while she's dealing with herself, you know, her self confidence and things like that as well. And it's just, it's a good story. And I really enjoyed this novel. Another book that I enjoyed this year was Surviving Amber Springs. This story I cried in big time. First off, with Brother did something very bad and it ended with kids dead. So basically the whole town basically ran off her and her family from her hometown, you know? So now she's in a whole different town. They're starting all over and she's scared that the truth is going to come out. Like people are gonna recognize her from like the news and things like that and the truth is ended up coming out. The story was crazy. A lot happens. And I just see like, when, she, when things happen, 
like how the other, how the family is dealing with the things and or the siblings or whatever the case is. So once you figure out what I'm talking about, you'll kind of understand what I'm saying if you read the book or if you're going to read the book. This one has 4.2 stars on Goodreads and I give this one a little 4. But yeah, let me just get into the book description. Let, let him who is without sin cast the first stone. I'm the second most hated person in Amber Springs. First place honor goes to my twin brother. Ethan. However, hate isn't a strong enough word to convey how people feel about him. Not that I blame anyone. Some days I hate him too. Mostly I'm just lost and afraid. Drowning in a sea of betrayal and guilt. Wondering how this happened right under my nose. There's no choice but to leave. To move clear across the country in a last ditch attempt to start over. Transferring to a new school midway through senior year is a hell is hellish for most people. For me, it's a welcome relief until someone discovers our secret and now everyone knows. The pointing, whispering, and scathing looks follow me around again, and I'm back to square one, except this time, I'm not alone. Axel, Ski, and Hef took me under their wing from the minute I arrived here. I'm no, I, I've no idea why three of the hottest guys in town took any interest in me or why they continued to have my back, but I'm just so grateful to have them in my corner because right now, they're the only reason I'm not following my brother. It's an early grave. Obviously, there are triggers in this book. Let's see what this trigger is because then it's going to give the whole book kind of away. And this is an, also a reverse harem book. Good. I really enjoyed it. That I cried in this book. So a lot of secrets come out. And she feels so guilty because her brother did what he did. She, she thinks it's all just solely all because of her because of what happened to her that you find out in the book as well. There's just so much, I wish I could say more, but I feel like if I say any more, I'm gonna give like the whole book away and I don't wanna do that. But that one's a really, really good read. And she's a really good author. I really like her as well. I started the Madison Kate this, this year as well by T. James. Amazing, she's an amazing author as well. I was gonna read the book description. So much goes on in this book. It's crazy. So basically, just so much happens like i don't even know what to start but i'm really gonna read the description and go from there this is gonna be the last one i'm gonna mention maybe i'll do like another like another one then um there's just so many good books that i read so maybe i'll make another list and with you guys those other books that i read if you guys want to see that just comment down below and i'll share those other books with you but madison kate danvers was murdered tonight those words changed my life and not for the better they were wrong of course i wasn't dead but i was set up after being charged with a string of offenses and made an example by the political minded father i've eventually released back into shadow girl with one thing on my mind hate someone is going to pay for derailing my carefully laid out future someone is going to catch the full force of my hate how very convenient that someone just moved into the bedroom down the hall from me Archer death and his boys mess with the wrong chick and they're about to learn just how cold Madison Kate Kate's hate can run. Can run. Hate is a it's a um, matured college sex and adult romance by Miss Lovers and it's also a reverse harem book and good. Each book ends up with a cliffhanger and then the fourth book wraps it up perfectly. Perfectly. Amazing. Amazing. Like she finds out she has a stalker in this book that she's never known about. Then on top of it all, she has a hit out for her. It's just mind blowing. Just so much action in it. So much is going on. So many secrets are revealed. She's falling in love with the guy. It's just one thing after another after another. And it's just amazing. Amazing. So definitely check out that one. That one's on Kindle Unlimited as well. Most of the books that I mentioned are on Kindle Unlimited and I'll let you know if I paid for one or not. But this one I gave a five star. It was that good. I usually don't ever give lower than a four or five star unless it's really, really bad and I really didn't enjoy the story and then I wrote it. But the series was just that good. To end this video with that last book a ton of other books so if you guys enjoy videos like this just comment down below and i will do a whole other video with other books that i read this year that i enjoyed honestly i have a lot of books that i read and that i freaking love that i want to share with everyone so just comment down below and i'll do a whole other video but thank you guys for watching and go check out these authors and these books they are amazing and again see you guys in the next video